It's the end of an era in East Timor tonight, with preliminary results from yesterday's presidential election indicating that Nobel Peace Prize laureate Jose Ramos Horta has lost his bid for re-election. The former army chief Tal Matan Ruak and the Fratellin candidate Francisco Luolo Guterres are vying for first place. Senior correspondent Brian Thompson reports from East Timor's capital, Dili. It's a painstaking process. Each ballot box emptied individually at the polling centres. The ballot papers organised and counted before an expectant crowd watching every move. Around 70 international observers have been monitoring this election, the majority from Australia. You can tell that every vote is treasured. I've never witnessed anything like it, standing at several booths last night after the count commenced and the, the polling official holding up each ballot paper, showing the audience, showing everyone, and young people, old people, showing them the ballot paper. Uh, so transparent, so open. The final result won't be known until tomorrow, but a pattern is starting to emerge, and it is not good news for the incumbent, President Jose Ramos Horta. Well, Luolo, uh, Francisco Gutierrez, Fratellin's candidate, is in first position, although on a slightly reduced vote at the moment. But he's still performing strongly. Behind him is Tamatan Roak, the candidate favoured by the Prime Minister, Janana Gushmao. And then there's a gap to uh, Jose Ramos Horta, and behind him, the Speaker of the Parliament. Despite a widespread consensus that the vote has been free and fair, the Fretlin candidate, Francisco Luolo Guterres, has raised serious concerns about the presence of Prime Minister Jeanne Guzmao at the state election headquarters last night. The party has phoned President Ramos Horta, complaining vociferously. Uh, Fretlin is very upset. I give the uh, Prime Minister benefit of the doubt. Some emergency, financial, administrative matters have uh, to deal with this time, but at midnight, uh, alone. So that's a bit uh, uh, of concern. If he is to lose, President Ramos Horta is considering throwing his weight behind Fretlin in the upcoming parliamentary elections in the hope of denying Prime Minister Guzmao a second term in office. It is clear that there is now little love lost between the two men. Federal Labour MP Janelle Safin is also here monitoring the vote. Prior to entering Parliament, she was Jose Ramos Horta's advisor. She says we haven't heard the last of him just yet. Timor Leste won't lose. They still have him. <laughs> He's still Timorese. He still lives here. So they'll still have him and he'll always be at the service of the people. Because none of the candidates have secured more than 50% of the vote, there will now be a runoff, which means it will be another month before former army chief Tarmatan Ruak will know whether or not he has the backing of the majority of his people. In East Timor, Brian Thompson, World News Australia. And Brian is